Oh, I'm gonna change the uh, heater on this tractor. Oh yeah, and I'm also working with a broken thumbnail. Oh, I'm gonna change the uh, heater on this tractor and uh, let's get started. So, this clip for the uh, throttle needs to come off. There we go. Take the clip. Put it up in the toolbox. All right, that gets the throttle out of the way. Now, um, loosen off some of these clamps and uh, get ready to pull this thing out of here. All right, I got a five gallon bucket down below to catch any antifreeze I can. Uh, see how successful we are. See you in a minute. Oh, yeah. And I'm also working with a broken thumbnail. It's kind of cracked there across the, uh, well, straight across at the end of the thumb right there. Straight across from there. Right where that white line is. So. Oh. Come. There we go. It's coming out there. Good. Very good, very good. Now. There it goes, it's coming now. A little sloppy, but it's not too bad. really want it to come out much faster because it's kind of running everywhere. Most of it's going in the bucket, but I am getting a bit on the snow there, so. Oh, well. You gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. Just about done dumping out the coolant. <clears throat> See if there's any more of a breaking air seal or something here. Not a whole lot more. There we go. Well, heater's out. We'll take apart the end of it and see how bad it looks on the inside there. All right, let's bust the end cap off of here and see just how bad it looks. Uh, 
does it look like? Honestly, it doesn't look terrible. But I think it's the, uh, I think it's the temperature sensor. So, yeah, I got the uh, temperature sensor out and terminals are shaking and wiggling all over the place on it. Where they should not be wiggling. And uh, it's very crispy smelling, shall we say? So, new heater in, in, in required. New heater is definitely required, so. There we go.